What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we have a full Ratata Evolution team. This one is for Patreon. If you like your theme team done, you can check it out in the description of the video under the Patreon link. Elder Cleric, this one is for you. So what I had to do is I had to use all the Raticate Evolution, plus I did the Alola forms and Totem as well. People, if you haven't followed me on Twitch, you better damn well do. Link is in the description of the video. We are doing a battle stream tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. Yesterday's stream, I take five stinking pickles. It was disgusting. If you'd like to check the VOD out, that's also on my Twitch too. But uh, make sure you are following there to get the notification to watch the salty streams. Uh, this is a battle on my Twitch against Hosemina. And we got a very interesting team here as well. Now, this is a triple battle special tonight, guys. So, spoiling you guys uh, once again. Don't say I don't love you. So, now we got a, uh, a Zara using Toxic on my Rattata. Now, Rattata does not want a Toxic on it. I really need that set to uh, not take any damage at all because I do have a Focus Sash. So I'm going to go into the Raticate. Now, this is a Guts Raticate. This is definitely the best set that I've got on my team. All the other ones are kind of gimmicky. So uh, this is sort of my... This was my rock on this team, right? So obviously, I was only using five Pokemon too, which already put me at a you know, disadvantage. So I've got Sword Dance, Facade, Flame Wheel, and Crunch. Going for the Facade on the Zoroark, and it lived! Zoroark changes into a Zoroark. Oh my god. Can you guys guess what this team is? It's broken. So anyway, uh, you can, you might be able to guess uh, real quick now. So we, we got a full Zoroark team. So interestingly enough, right? Say if there's another... Well, this is a full Zoroark team, right? If the opponent has like more Zoroark in the team, you can transform the Zoroark into a Zoroark. So you, you probably haven't seen that one before. So anyway, it's going to protect itself, get some leftover recovery. And obviously, it's mainly stalling out the toxic damage it did to me earlier on. So uh, I can just go for another facade on the Zoroark here and take it out. It's going to go for a protect. Obviously, that's going to fail because it, you know, you know, can fail in succession and that's going to take out the Zoroark, which is good. How many times am I going to say Zoroark this battle? Someone, someone better count. Now, this is a triple battle special tonight, people. I've got three different battles to spoil you guys. Don't say I don't... Don't say I don't look after you. Anyway, people, um, if you do like these videos too, people, please give the video a like. Uh, show me some support and love. Okay, so it lives on one health. It's going to focus Ash and it's got counter. I think they've been watching Pimp Mart videos too much. So that's going to take out my Raticate in one shot. But Raticate did a pretty good job there, nearly taking out a third of the team. So now I can bring in my own Raditor. Now this is my normal Raditor. So this set is the classic Endeavor, uh, Endeavor Quick Attack set. I've got a couple of other moves on there as well. So I found it important, on, especially on these Focus Sash sets, you really got to run Protect just for like Fake Out and things like that. Um, also, it's very good for Scouting too. So we got the Zora going for Protect, uh, sorry, Detect, just stalling me out a bit. Now I'm going to go for the Quick Attack. I mean, they could swap out here, but I was thinking maybe I should go for Endeavor, predicting a swap. But I stayed in his Quick Attack anyway, and that's the... Uh, that's the Zoroark down, and that crit totally mattered, guys. How did, how did, oh, I don't know. If I didn't crit that, it would have lived. So now we've got the uh, third Zoroark coming out here. The Soldorark, hope I said that one not, uh, right. So go for Protect. I just want to see what move this is actually going to do to me, right? So the Soldorark's going to go for the Focus Miss. Oh my goodness, this is going to like, that move destroys my entire team. So uh, now... It's going to be able to land the Focus Miss on my Rattata. I'm going to go for the Endeavor here. I was hoping it would land right because then, you know, I'd obviously show that I've got Endeavor if it did miss. So the Endeavor is going to take the Zoroark all the way down to one health too. And it lives on one health. Zoroark is going to change into another Zoroark. Fancy that. And uh, now I can go for the Quick Attack and take out the Zoroark. There's a Rattata. Rattata is going to take out the Meta Zoroark. That, that, was, that was Meta. So we got uh, we got two more Zoroarks hidden there. I wonder I wonder what Zoroark w w one will be. That's the, that's the thing. It's quite a trolley team. Anyway, so we got the Zoroark going for the thief. That's going to take out my Radatar. Radatar did a fine job there, taking out two Pokemon. So really, I'd like to lead off with my Alola Radatar um, and my normal Radatar because they were good like counter endeavor sets are quite nice. So now we're going to swap in the big rat. Look how big it is. And uh, this is a uh, actual special set. So let's go over what this one is. We got max special attack, max speed. So we got dank pulse, hyper beam, ice beam, and sludge wave. The ability thick fact and darkinium Z. Damn that! Zoroark changes into Zoroark again. I can't believe it. And at least my hyper beam. It's a bulky set. 
Anyway, so it's going to go for Spite. Now, you don't ever get to see Spite being used. So this is really cool. If you don't know what Spite does, it randomly drops the PP of your move. So uh, it could be like a random number um, you know, of your move. So the worst one is when it does five. I think it's like between two to five. So anyway, it's going to leave on uh, one health there for the Sludge Wave and get a poison, but it's going to eat a berry and get some of its health back. Man, that was salty. I wish it took it out. So uh, anyway, it's going to go for another Spite. So it's really like trying to drop the PP of my Pokemon. It's really great to see some of these moves being used, right? Because you guys, I know, like a lot of you guys probably don't see them ever being used. So it's, it's really nice. So I can go for it. Just a, uh, just a sludge wave to take this out. Dank Pulse is not going to do enough. Ice Beam is probably not going to take it out. So I just went for that again. And, um, yeah, they're hoping the poison will be enough to take it out in the end. Anyway, so now we've got the Snarl on this set. It's going to drop my special attack. And it gets a crit. What the hell? So uh, the poison is going to be... I'm glad it's poisoned by the sludge wave, and that's going to go down. So that was the... Man, it's hard to keep up with all these Zoroarks. That was the fourth Zoroark. So we've still got two Zoroarks remaining here. All right, so out comes the Nocturne. Um, I can go for a Hyper Beam again. That's probably my best move. However, it's going to go for a bounce. So it's going to bounce in the sky, people. I was like, is this Power Hurt bounce? Is this Flying EMZ bounce? What, what, what is this set? Anyway, so the Hyper Beam is going to hit the trainer instead of the Zoroark. And uh, now we've got the bounce coming down on the big rat. And it does a lot of damage, but it doesn't quite take it out. Now I can see that it's got a Life Arm too. A, a Life Arm? What, the, what is the Life Arm? A Life Arm! It's, it's, it's a Life Arm, people. That's a new item. I'm, see? I, I reveal new items to you all the time. So now the Zoroark is going to go for it. What is this set? Like, this is coming from me. What is this set? So we've got the Zoro won't go for a bounce here, people. Um, there's nothing I can really do. I don't want to swap into my Lola Rat, so I'm just going to take my Big Rat to take the hit, and uh, Big Rat is going to go down. However, we still got the normal, uh, we still got a Lola Ratata left, and we got the normal uh, Lola Raticate left, too. So, uh, this was more of my, this was like my backbone, like, tanky set to my team. It's going to have Giga Impact. What is this set? Giga Impact does so much damage to me. This is a bulky Raticate. Almost takes me out uh, with the life of Giga Impact. Uh, now I'm going to be able to get up the bulk up. So, let's go over. I didn't even, I don't think I actually went over what this set was. So, this set is as follows. So, we've got the uh, bulk up, crunch, rest, and sleep talk. We've got the ability of thick fat and the item is leftovers. Max health and max special defense. So, we're very tanky on the special side, but not so much on the physical side. That's why the Giga Impact did so much. All right, people. There's one more Zoroark left, and I've got my. I've got two rats to go. Can I? Can I? Can I win this? Okay. So the last. There's Salt Rock. Salt Rock is the last one, people. So I was wondering what this set was actually going to be, like what the whole set was. So now it's going to go for the trick. I'm like, okay. Oh, I smell a rat. Anyway, so it's going to trick me the item right. Now the uh, choice scarf is going to get tricked to me. It's going to get the leftovers. So now I'm going to go for crunch which is a good thing because I'm actually going to do some damage. If I did go for like another like bulk up, I actually would have been trapped into that and I would have had to swap out. So that was, you know, that was a good play on their part there. Unfortunately for them, I actually uh, attacked. So now we got the Zoroark go for the Torment. Now what Torment does, it actually stops you using the same move over and over. So say if I use Crunch this turn right, next turn I wouldn't be able to use it. Now, I don't really want to swap out and lose my Rattata because I've got my Focus Sash and everything intact. So I'm going to have to stay in here, right? And I'm going to be forced to struggle. So anyway, Zoroark's going to salt, right? Fling its left The left that it stole for me right back at me. And then I'm going to go for the struggle on the Zoroark. I was like, struggle kill, struggle kill. It doesn't take it out, but it does some pretty nice damage there. Raticate lives on 6 health, and now I'm going to get taken out by the Disrespect Thief. But man... I, I didn't want to swap there. That was like that was too risky. So now I'm gonna uh, go into my last Pokemon, which is my Alolan Rattata. So this set was as follows: we got Counter, Protect, Endeavor, and Sucker Punch. I'm gonna go for the Sucker Punch, and it's gonna land on the Zoroark. And that, my friends, is game. I hope you enjoyed uh, this first battle. It was a really, really cool, unique team there. Lots of uh, different moves uh, used too. I, was like, I really like these kind of battles. They're yeah, very interesting. Okay, so we got the second battle. This one was on my Discord. My Discord link is in the description too. Anyone is welcome to uh, come battle me there. If you've got a theme team you'd like to use against me, or just want to battle in general. Now we got all different kinds of battle styles. We got, uh, you know. Uh, just casual people, uh, VGT, Smogon, like lots of different battle types. So any, it's kind of a thing for everyone. So we got uh, battle. This one's against Barlow. We got a Sandshrew Elite, and we got a uh, uh, Normalium Z here. I actually need a Normalium Z drink right now. Mm. Okay, just uh, reviving myself, boosting my stats. Speaking of boosting my stats or boosting stats, we got the Sandshrew going for the Z Defense Curl. So it's going to get a plus one in defense right. 
And after I've seen defense come, I'm like, yeah, it's probably got to use rollout. So go for the super fang. Uh, sorry, not the super fang, the hyper fang. Normally I run super fang, but uh, this time I went for the flinches instead. So that's the first rollout. It's like, oh, what should I do here? Let's go for some damage. Let's go Let's go for some damage as best as I can. Uh, the Santru is going to go for the second rollout. Now, Santru's um, rollout is getting exponentially more powerful over and over. So that's my first rack god. So I thought... If I can't take this out of one shot, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna I'm gonna get shredded by. So I'm gonna go into my own radar and go for the counter. Rollout does not miss, and uh, obviously this is the third rollout, which is gonna be very very powerful there. And uh, I'm gonna leave on my focus ash and take it out with the counter. So that was nice having the counter on this. Uh, you know, a lot of these, like a lot of these evolution light teams, I do like to run mirror code counter on some of the weaker ones. Um, you know, you not you normally get if you can play with it, you can normally get at least one to two Ks. Now this was the funniest moment ever. We got the deli bird going for a present. Hustle present! And guess what guys? It heals me on one health! I can't believe that! I'm able to get a endeavor off on the deli bird right now. <laughs> The sword is real. Anyway, the Deli Bird's going to be a little bit of help. I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch, and they attack, and I'm going to take out the Deli Bird there. That you, you have, if you, if you were using that Deli Bird, the, the Hustle present Deli you'd have to be soldy after that. You'd have to be. Anyway, so we got the uh, Masquerade coming. It's going to drop my uh, attack. There's not much I can really do here, apart from going for the Sucker Punch. However, it's going to go for the Bug Bars, and that's going to take out my uh, Radic. I actually went for the Hyper Fang there. So uh, anyway, uh, that's me down. I'm actually going to take out this Pokemon because it's quite strong against my Alolan Pokemon. Since I had three of them too, it's a little bit of worry. So now I'm going to go into my Raticate. Um, I'm going to go for the Flame Wheel here. So I, I could go for a Sword Dance, but I didn't want to risk it. I just want to get some damage up. Flame Wheel does over half, which is, you know, it's not too bad. I've got Flame Wheel on there just to, like, steel types. So, Bug Buzz does a lot of damage to me. Um, I do tank that one, which is nice. Um, I, I know that I can live, like, probably, like, three more turns with the burn, which is cool. So, Mashkin's going to swap out, and now we got the memes coming in, which is the Ponyta. Expecting that Flame Wheel for a Flash Fire, I went for the Facade instead, but I actually did notice that one in the tent. All right, so, uh, Ponyta is going to live on one health. It's not going to be able to get a Horndra off today, people. I I am not even going to risk that shit. Okay, so uh, the Ponytail is going to go down to the second facade. And uh, the memes are going to go down. The, the, the meme is dead. Okay, so we got uh, three more Pokemon left. We got the Masquerade and we got two other ones. So now I knew the Masquerade would come back in because uh, to drop my attack. So I'm going to go for the facade again. Flame Wheel won't be enough to take it out. Oh, the other moves that I had, if I didn't already say this already, I had uh, Crunch as the other move just for Ghost Types. Okay, so Facade is going to be enough to take out the Masquerade, which is good. Now we've got two more Pokemon remaining as well. So Raticate is on its last legs, literally. And now we've got the Core Solar coming out. So Core Solar was a little bit of a problem here. Now I know Core Solar's got nice base defense. And really, at a negative one in attack, I'm not going to be doing a lot of damage with Crunch, even though I've got the guts up. So I get a critical hit there, and uh, the Corsola is going to go for the recover there. Okay, so the uh, blue nipple is going to heal itself off, and it's going to get uh, all of its health back. Um, actually, quite a nice Pokemon with Regenerator too. Very, uh, very underrated. I quite like Shiny Corsola too. It's a, it's, it's a good Shiny. So now I've got two Pokemon remaining. I'm going to go to the big rat here. I need to hit this thing specially on the special side, right? Okay, so I was like wasting no time here. I'm going to go for the Dark Idiom Z Dank Pulse. Uh, like looking at its moveset too, there wasn't actually a lot I could do to it. I could go for the Dank Pulse or go for the Ice Beam. Hyper Beam and Sludge Wave. We're going to really do nothing to it at all. So hoping this was more bulky on the defensive side. Uh, it wasn't like, hoping it wasn't like max health, max special defense. Because uh, that's going to be able to eat it up, unfortunately. Anyway, so hitting it really hard. And it's definitely bulky on the special side. They're going to go for the Mirror Coat. Now, obviously Mirror Coat works the same as Counter on a physical type move. But since Mirror Coat is a psychic type move, it's going to fail because I'm a dark type. Same if you use Counter on a Ghost type, really. So if anyone didn't know that, uh, now you do. Um, so anyway, it's they, obviously they still take typing into effect. So the Core Solar, um, even with its, even with the Z move there, I was hoping to actually get a flinch here on it. And uh, it's not going to be able to spam the Recover and get it all back. So even though it did use the Mirror Coat before, it actually doesn't really matter because it's going to be able to heal itself off fully. And uh, I didn't flinch it. So I wasn't able to take it out. So it actually didn't even matter in the end. So I've still got one more Pokemon left, which is my Bulk Up Raticate, which I was thinking... Maybe the good one to go into here. I was thinking maybe I could uh, maybe I could flinch this thing. So I'm gonna humor it for a while, see if I can take it out with the dunk, uh, dank pulse flinch. If not, I'm gonna have to go into my eradicate and uh, see if I can get those bulk ups up. So it's op offensive move there is the uh, power gem, which is about a three hit KO against me. So uh, this is uh, obviously the special move too. Normally it runs like scold and things, so it can run scold to burn and get even more defensive. 
as well as it uh, gets the birds. So, I, if I, I was thinking, if I get like a Dark Pulse, like two flinches in a row, I think I'd be right here taking it out. I don't get any flinches. And it also has Brian too. So, what Brian does, if you're, uh, you know, if you're obviously you're half below your health, uh, the Brian doubles it in base power too, which is uh, very, very powerful. Uh, so, anyway, the Corsola is the Pokemon to get past at the moment. My last Pokemon is my Raticate with Bulk Up. So, I was thinking, since I'm running a special defensive set myself, I should be uh, more than enough to tank any of the moves it throws at me, even like a max power Brian. So go for the bulk up there, boosting my attack and defense. Now the Corsola is going to go for power jam. It virtually does nothing to me. Leftovers are going to hit almost heal half the damage that it you know, kind of did to me. So that's good. I've completely walled this one. Even, in, you know, even if it gets a crit, I'm very, very confident there too. So I was thinking there is... Um, there's a plus two left. I need to probably get plus two in attack, but let's see how much this one does. It misses the KO, and the Corsola is going to get the recover off. So I kind of feared that it would, that would happen since I wasn't running any uh, attack EVs or anything at all. So getting some more left over recovery, so like, right, all I've got to do is go for another bulk up or two, and uh, I can definitely take the Corsola. Even if I have to get like plus six up, I can one-shot the console then, so it's recovering days are going to be over. So go for another crunch here. Hoping I can get a low-key defense drop. And uh, console is going to go for the power gem here on my uh, Radicate. So there's nothing to do to touch me at all. Um, I, I, think, I think it's quite interesting, the totem, po the totem Pokemon team, people. It is coming in the future, too. Um, it definitely is. Um, I was fortunately, uh, one of my patrons was good enough to suggest it. So, uh, it is coming in the future, people. Don't worry about that. I know someone's going to roast me in the comment section for that. So, anyway, the Corsola is going to go for another power gem against my rat. Rat is tanking so well at the moment. And um, I'm going to get some more left through recovery and get the bulk up up. So, this turn is going to be the turn where I finally take out this... Uh, blue little nipple. So anyway, Consola is going to go for, I'm going to go for the crunch this time. I think that was a speed, was that, I think that was a speed tie. Anyway, taking the Consola out with the uh, crunch there. So that's getting me some nice health recovery back. Now we're all ready for the last Pokemon. I've got plus two in attack and defense. So the last Pokemon is a C. I was like, what is this set even going to be? Um, I'm going to go for crunch. I was like, crunch should do some good damage. I don't think it'll take it out, but it'll do good damage. I get a defense drop, so it doesn't matter. It's a 2 k It's got Horn Drill. I was like, oh my goodness. Anyway, so Raticate getting some uh, leftovers recover there, which is good. And th this one is pretty much game until the Spheal. It, it was a Speed Tide too, and it misses. Holy moly. If that if that Seal hit that Horn Drill, I would have been the saltiest person alive. I think I am anyways. But uh, thank you for the battle. Let's get on to the next one. This battle is really, really cool too. I need another drink, but I've got to keep hydrating people. I need, I need a polytoad in here to use Drizzle. Mm. Okie dokie. So we got a battle. This one was on my Discord as well. This one's against Honda. We have a very interesting theme team here too. So we got a, we got a. I think it's almost like a double theme team. So go for protect on my Rattata to start the battle off with, and uh, we got takedown coming from the Beldum. Now Beldum can also learn Iron Head and take that. Its move pool is very, very limited too, so it's very, very fun to actually see it being used. So go for the Hype Fang, it's going to do nothing. Uh, now the Beldum's going to go for the takedown on my Rattata. Naturally, I've got very poor uh, you know, IVs in defense, so that's going to take me all the way down to my Sash. Now I've noticed it's actually using takedowns, so like if I go for the Endeavor here, even though it won't take it out, the takedown recoil should take it out too. So now we got the Beldum going for the takedown, and that is going to take my Raticate down, and it's going to take the Beldum down, a double takedown KO. What a way to start the battle off. So I've got four Pokemon remaining still. So bringing my next Rayata, which is the Alola one. So I thought it might be able to make use of Count here, or it may even be able to fire off like a Sucker Punch or two. So we got a Me Tang. You might be able to guess what team this is. It's a uh, Beldum Evolution team. I actually haven't done this myself. So now we got the uh, Mega Troll go for the Meteor Mash, taking me all the way down to half, you know, all the way down to my Focus Sash. I kind of wish I went for the Counter. That's very, that's unfortunate. I didn't do that. However, it's gonna have Bullet Punch as well. So. Um, yeah, I, I wish I went for count there. I should, I probably could have scouted a little bit better, but that's how the game goes. So I've got, four, I've got the uh, three more Pokemon remaining. So now going into my Raticate, I've got Crunch on this thing with the guts. I know that it's got Meteor Mash and Bullet Punch. So I, let's just go for the Crunch right away. Don't want to be setting any sword dance up. So now we've got the Meatang going for the Rock Polish. That's going to boost its speed. Um, it's got it, even with Meatang not being evolved in Metacross, it's got like a night, a decent, uh, you know, attack stat too. So Raticate's got its, uh, its guts up. Uh, so now we got the Meatang going for the Zen Headbutt Scumbag Flinch. Does a lot of damage. It doesn't, thank goodness. That, thank goodness it didn't flinch. Go for the Scumbag Flame Wheel, taking out the Meatang there, which is good. So we got two more Pokemon left. 
So obviously we got a me we got a Metagross and we got a Mega Metagross. So I was like, mm, this is gonna be I wonder what these sets are gonna be. So we got the uh, we got the Metagross coming out. Is it gonna be Mega? And it's gonna be the Mega. So I went I just went for Crunch again. That was my best option against Metagross. Now Metagross has a very nice base defense. Uh, so even if they were running more of a sweeping set, I knew Crunch wouldn't actually be enough to take it up. Especially being Mega 2. So going for Crunch does pretty good damage. It's about a 3 hit KO. And we got a special meta, Mega Metagross going for that Flash Cannon, taking out my Raticate. So now I'm thinking, well, I've got the big rat. I've got the big boy right with the Dank Pulse. And I've also got the bulky rat with the bulk up. So I decided to send in my bulk up Raticate here. Okay, so now we got the uh, Mega Metagross going for the Flash Cannon again. Now, Flash Cannon can actually drop the Special Defense. It does decent damage, but uh, I know that I can take this one really well. So not wasting any time, go for the Crunch on the Mega Metagross. I thought I could go for a Bulk Up, but just in case something went really, really bad, uh, I just wanted to get rid of this Pokemon. Okay, so uh, I can go for one more Crunch and take out the Mega Metagross. Uh, it's going to go for another Flash Cannon. Obviously, that's its main stab. I'd say it probably had things like Psychic on it. So I've actually run a uh, special Mega Metagross myself. I had a... Um, there was a Mega Salamance on the field. I always remember it was so funny. The person Mega the Salamance was a very, very... You know, it was a very competitive, try-hard kind of team. Um, I, we were both down to our last Pokemon. I Mega Revolved my Mega uh, Mega Metagross, and I went for an Icy Wind in one shot. <laughs> Let's imagine their reaction. So now we got the uh, we got the Metagross coming out as the last Pokemon. Going for the Crunch here. Metagross is going to go for the Hammer Arm. Hammer Arm misses like, oh my god. That's going to do so much damage. So uh, my next Crunch, I know, is not going to take it out. Even with a critical hit, I don't think it's going to be either. So go for another Crunch on the uh, Met Metagross. And now we got the Metagross going for the Hammer Arm. And that is going to be enough to take out my Raticate for sure there. And uh, that's me down. So I've got one more Pokemon left, which is the Big Rat. Now, I was wondering what their item was. Like, I hope it's something, not something like like a scumbag item, like Quick Claw or something. I don't even know what it's going to be. So bringing the Big Rat here, I can go for the Dark Idiom Z uh, Dank Pulse here. So go for my Z move. This, I was, I was like, quite confident this would be enough to take it out. Um, even if it's got something like Assault Vest or something like that. I was like, this one is definitely game. So the EVs on this were max special attack and max speed. I also had uh, the modest nature too. Wanted to see if I could get the most damage output out of its uh, special moves as possible. But anyway, people, that is it for the last game. Metagross is going to fly into space. And I uh, hope you enjoyed all three of these battles. But don't, don't, don't you leave this video, people. There's an excellent bonus battle coming up. You won't believe what it is. Make sure you check that one out. And uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.